Hello everyone and welcome back to some Magic the Gathering with me, you lad. Today, we are having a look at a Mutate deck that I've been playing around with. Um, I've been doing some different kind of iterations of this, but I settled on doing a Bant deck. I think this might be the best one that I made, but uh, I'm kind of not sure. Anyway, um, this deck is entirely based on the mutate mechanic. So, we have the Mysterious Egg, a really nice mutate card. Whenever this creature mutates, put a 1-1 counter on it. We have the Polywog Symbiote. Whenever, or each creature card, each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if it, ha it, if it has mutate, draw a card and discard a card. So this is our cycling mechanic. It's an early game kind of card draw trying to fix our hand, making sure that we actually have everything we need to be able to play properly. Then we have some real nice ones, the Essence Symbiote. It is a basically a buff mutate creature, literally. Um, we have Vanishing Light as a removal, Sea Dasher Octopus. This is also a card draw mechanic for us. The Glowstone Recluse. This is also a buff mutate creatures card. We have the Wulpikit as a flyer and a buff mutate creatures card. We have Majestic Oricorn, which has Vigilance, really nice for for us to combine with flying. It This is our self-healing, in case we would need it. We have the Dreamtail Heron, which is also card draw, and then the Archipelagor as our victory condition if we get into a long game. That is about it. Um, it is, like, this ge this 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 deck is really a lot about like just mutating stuff, creating different creatures that is strong. But I think the most important part that I've learned about this this deck is that don't put all your ba eggs in one basket. Don't put all your eggs in one mysterious egg. That will screw you over because they suddenly sit there with a murderous rider and go fuck you and you die. Um, that is how it works. So be careful with what you evolve here. Evolve several or rather mutate several things um but yeah that is the deck let's get straight into the games shall we now for those of you that haven't already remember to subscribe to the channel if you want some more magic the gathering content and other stuff that i do i uh, stream on twitch.tv slash udlad so go check that out but to the subscription hit that bell remember to subscribe for some more videos now let us get into the game. This is actually kind of an okay start. We don't have any of our card draw mechanics, which kind of suck. But we do have two Essence Symbiotes, which is really, really nice. We have the Wulpikit and we have a Majestic Oricorn. So we have basically the setup for us to get a really strong creature. And we have some early control with the Essence Symbiote. So let's keep this. I think this is an okay starting hand. Ooh, an Alcade of Life's Bounty. I even changed my opinion right now because we got the Mothra's Great Cocoon. Boom. This is actually like I, I, I get I get confused by these cards. Like Mothra's Great Cocoon, right? That's what it's called, but that is just the reskin of it. It's actually a mysterious egg. So I, I kinda get confused with these reskins because I got them for like I think when I bought cards I got them. I think that is the reason why I have them. But it, it is a little bit confusing to me. Ain't gonna lie. This is why... Okay. Oh, right. This has lifelink, so it might as well, right? I think we definitely pay life here. Um, to get out the symbiotes quicker. No reason to attack right now. Now, we def like we are going for the long haul here, so we're definitely gonna pay again. Or rather not pay again and play the essence symbiote. And then we're going to mutate the Vulpikit. I think that is definitely the way we want to go. Sentinel's eyes on the on the Paradise Druid. Enter tap and then do another Essence Symbiote. And next turn we're going to play the Vulpiquette, uh, evolve it on the Mothra's Great Cocoon. That is my plan. I'm sticking to it. Pious Wayfarer. So he's playing a Constellation deck. Kind of interesting. It seems to be using using most Theros cards, so far, at least. Oh, well, 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 a buff on the Alcade of Life's Bounty. Very nice. 
Hmm. Like, the Pious Wayfarer, I never really liked him in the Constellation decks. I always think that these kind of cards where it's like, target creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn, is really bad unless you're playing kind of an aggressive deck. It's not bad, per se, but I don't find it as useful, obviously, as if you're playing an aggressive deck. That is very interesting. Why did he not attack me? He definitely should have attacked me. Uh, let's enter that tapped and mutate the Great Cocoon. Go! You're going on top. Boom, boom, boom. It becomes a massive freaking creature. 6-7, let's swing with that. And that's very nice. Now next turn we can mutate the Majestic Oricorn into this and it becomes even bigger. So I feel like we're in a really good spot. I do recognize this like kind of thing that he's doing. He's doing a definite enchantment kind of focus. I like the idea. Oh my god, that is a lot of pious, <laughs> pious wayfarers. That is a lot of them. Hunted Witness. Like, I get, I get the feeling that he doesn't have any removal. Which is very, very nice for us. Because, like, if he doesn't have removal, removing the mutated creature... Like, the, it's so hard to actually do anything about the mutated creature if he doesn't have any sort of hard removal. So, that is very nice. We're gonna put that under there. Yeah, might as well. Doesn't matter, really. It's gonna mutate like crap ton. That is now a 12-12. Exactly as I wanted. Um, boom. He now has three health left. It's a feel feels bad opportunity for him. Ain't gonna lie. The thing is, like, he can't really stop this anymore. He can swing with Alsaid of Life's Bounty. But he doesn't have enough life steal, um, or a life link rather, to actually pose a threat to us, like swinging through next turn, because he doesn't have reach, he doesn't have a flyer. Like, why would he just swing with two? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, just swinging with two, like he might as well swing with everything, right? Because he is dead next turn anyway. Like, he's not going to kill us anyway. German three. You are a conundrum. For some reason I gave this reach. It feels weird, but you know what? That's fine. Let's block this because we can. Oh no! Five hell! How am I supposed to handle this? GG. GG. Okay. There we go. Very nice. That was a quick game. I gotta say, that was a really quick game. Um, and I don't mind that. Quick games are nice as well. Um, let's jump straight into another one, shall we? I feel like this Mutate deck, it works out really well. The stacking is really nice on the creatures that we have that can mutate. So, I do like that. I'm kind of... Ooh, this is a... This might be an okay hand to start with. It's not the best, but we have a lot of mana at least. So we can play the uh, Glowstone Recluse as our mutate target and then mutate it with the Majestic Oricorn and then we'll see what we kind of draw into that. I think that is definitely the choice here. Yeah, yeah. So... I'm thinking of like how I could improve this deck. I think the deck could benefit from Maybe a little bit more removal. Banishing Light is really nice. It can remove anything. Um, but at the same time, it's no flash card. <laughs> Having that kind of card with flash would be nice, or an instant. Um, but I don't think... Like, we could have Prey Upon as well. Prey Upon could be really nice, or um, the other one where you don't fight, you just deal damage. I don't remember the name of it. Prey Upon is also really good, though. For those of you that do not know, Prey Upon is a one green mana spell that uh, forces two creatures to fight each other. I think this might be a bust. God damn, that took some time. 
to Goto. That took some goddamn time. Okay, let's play that as a tapped one, then we'll do another tapped one, then we'll play the Glowstone Recluse. That is definitely the way to go. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see, like, what he actually plays. I've never been a massive fan of the Clan Guild Mage. I think the Clan Guild Mage, like, it's an okay creature, but but it's like I I never used its abilities, like the um, um, target creature can't block and stuff like that. Like I've never used them properly, which is maybe a fault by, of me, but I kind of don't like them. It's it's weird. They're they're weird. Now we can mutate another spider onto the spider, which causes the spider to become a stronger spider. It was it, it becomes a double spider. And everyone knows that spiders are the worst, so no one wants to fight a double spider. Or rather, we're gonna play it as a separate spider, because this little bastard makes it so that creatures can't block. So we're definitely gonna play it as another spider, so we have two spiders that can uh, be annoying to each other. There we go. Let's play that. I think we wanna we get some healing next turn, though, from the Majestic or Oricorn. So I might swing. No, it's better to it's better to be conservative here. We want to make. I think he is a he is kind of an aggressive deck, so we want him to run out of steam, and be a little bit more defensive until we can actually build up a massive creature. That is definitely the way to go. It might be worth banishing using banishing light on the clamor shaman just to remove it because it's like it's its ability to uh, cut to like to uh, remove blocking from a creature is really strong when it comes to these kinds of decks. Because he could, like, use the Clan Guild Mage right now to create a 4-4 elemental creature. Interesting, though, like, the choice of attacking with all of these. I'm just gonna kill the Claymore Shaman because we definitely want him out of the picture so he can block with everything. Damn it. Vanishing light it is. Let's remove this little bastard. No attacks. And at this point he can create a elemental. To attack. I think he's going to do it. That would be six damage to my face. Though I can kill one of the guild mages. Um, so I'm not a mess. Like, I'm not super afraid of that. Another banishing light. That is actually really, really good. The question is do we want to play a majestic oricorn or a banishing light? I think majestic oricorn is better at this point. Oh, no, no, no. We definitely want to. Yeah. Let's play another Banishing Light, remove the Sunder Shaman. Because it, it will destroy our other Banishing Light if we do not do that properly. Because he could use the Clan Guild Mages to force my spider to not be able to block anyway. Which would be... Oh my freaking god, how many of these guys does he have? Fuck, this is bad. This is really, really bad. This might be a solution to this. Hopefully at least a little bit. No attacks. And now we can use the Glowstone Recluse to block the Sunder Shaman in case we would need to. Though he could use both his Clan Guild Mages to force, like to make it so that no none of my creatures can block. Which would be super annoying. I th that is what he's probably going to be doing, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah. God damn it.
This is really freaking annoying. Like this, like his deck is really freaking annoying. God damn it. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably dead actually next turn. Just can see that. I think it's better to just go into another game because we were probably screwed that game. Like we might have been able to pull something off, but I don't think so. Because another Banishing Light might have helped. That That is like literally, I think, the only thing that could have helped. Um, but at the same time, having getting another Banishing Light, not the highest chance. And even if we did, I think we would, like, he would still punch through our creatures and we would, need, we would need to get something that we could buff. And the chances of that aren't that high. Let's keep this. This feels okay. Um, we do have the Sea Dasher Octopus as a card draw in case we need it. So we can use that to draw some extra cards. Would be real nice. Okay, let's play this tapped. Let's actually swing, change the color on our fox a little bit. Boom. Play this tapped as well. So this is maybe... Uh, maybe a elf tribal? No. It's a weird one. Play that as a creature. The next turn we're probably going to pay the... We're going to shock ourselves to be able to mutate the Vulpikit onto the Glowstone Recluse. Yeah, I think that is the solution. This Ikora pet, by the way, super cool, super cute. I like it. No blocks. I think we can take three damage. That's okay. Mutate this. Put this on top. I guess. There we go. No attacks. It's a big boy now. Then next turn we play the... We probably play the Majestic Oricorn as a separate creature, maybe. And then we mutate a Sea Dasher Octopus onto it, or like under it. Just to get a little bit of healing. Maybe not. Oh god, the death touch on the Questing Beast. We, I, I would definitely want to see a... Um, I would definitely want to see a... Uh, Banishing Light right now. Banishing Light could be super good against the Questing Beast. The thing is, like, it has Death Touch, so I kind of don't want to block it. Taking 4 damage, I think it's okay. It's acceptable. Oh my god. The game heard us. The game heard us. Thank god. Does he have another Questing Beast in his hand? That would really suck. It is very possible. Actually, like, having a... Cr I, I have to check if there's a creature with Mutate that has lifelink as well. That could be a really, really cool combo. Um, in the sense that we can mutate lifelink onto our big creature, which would be a really nice heal. Though I don't think there is one. Kogla, the Titan Ape. Hmm. Interesting. I think we're definitely going to kill off the uh, Pelt Collector, just in case. We're getting a little, little low here. It is getting a little bit bad, but not too much. Like, we can heal ourselves with the Majestic Oricorn, and we can put it on top as well to give this a really nice buff. Boom, there we go. And we can attack with it now because it has Vigilance. So there we go. The thing is, like, he can't play Kogla now because at this point, if he would play him, he has to fight a creature. And with that, we basically can just... Um, like, he, he will die against the Majestic Oricorn right now. 
So this is actually an okay position that we're in. I think mutating the Dream Tail Heron onto our Majestic Oricorn is our next play. It'll buff it up and we will also draw a card and heal. So we're starting to get into what we actually need here. Though we could do two mutates with the C Dasher Octopus. Yeah, I think that is definitely the way to go. Ah, crap. Freaking Questing Beast. Fuck. I guess we'll kind of see what it does, though. Like, he's definitely attacking with the Questing Beast. I'm kind of sure of that. We kind of have to block it as well, which sucks. Like, the Questing Beast is such a strong creature. It is so strong. Did he just do that? Did that just happen? Why did he do that? He had the win. Like, he literally had the win. He just needed to attack with the Questing Beast by itself. And I would have to block it and kill off my flyer. Or it wouldn't have to. But he would have a defender to actually block my flyer. That was so weird. Why did he do that? Anyway, doesn't matter. I won. Thank God. Oh, well. So this is this is my mutate deck. I think it kind of works. Um, I'm kind of not sure about it, though. Like, I have a hard time playing it sometimes because it is really like you put all your eggs in one basket and if someone has anything that can, like, punch that basket, you are fucked, basically. So I think it's fine. I think it works, but it could be improved upon, probably add some other creatures, maybe some more spells, um, or rather non-creature spells to actually help balance it out a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like it. Also, comment down below what you would want to see me play next. Give some suggestions on decks, maybe. I'll have a look and see if I can make that. Also, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of my content, Magic the Gathering or otherwise. I have been you, lad. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.